Hey guys, um, this is my first episode of Let's Play Football Manager with FC Copenhagen. Actually, it's the first um, Scandinavian Let's Play Football Manager that uh, I've ever seen on YouTube. If you have seen or like done any other series like this on YouTube, please tell me. Well, um, I will start with FC Core, which is a team that I really like. They're from Denmark. Um, they're like the best team in Denmark. We like you can see in this part of the screen. Uh, we're going to play Super League, Danish Cup, and also the Champions Cup. Um, yeah, and we are into the Super League. Which is made of 12 teams. Each team we play each other 3 times that will make 33 matches. And we actually follow the European calendar that makes us different from Sweden, Norway, Finland, etc. And just to make the game a little bit faster because my computer is a bit slow, the only leagues I added was the Swedish Osvenskan and the Major League Soccer. So just to show you a little bit guys before going into our first game that will be already a derby game against Bromby. Uh just show you a little bit of the score. We have a balance that is negative, too much negative, which is not good to deal with, especially with a club with the highest stature like us. But let's see how that goes during the game. Well this is the score. I've already subscribed the players into the registration for the Superliga. Uh, the registration only allows me to have 25 players, but the youngest ones below age of 20, I don't have to actually register it so I can make the squad a little bit bigger, as you can see. A lot of injuries though, something that Absirco have been struggling with in real life. Uh, Perhaps the physio team is not so good, but we we'll see how that goes during the game. Also, we had a preseason in Denmark. We won all our games against well, not so decent teams. So this first game that is gonna be a derby is actually the first very good game that we're going to play this season. Um, Bromby is our fierce rival, also from Copenhagen. And start the season again, then it's gonna be awesome. Um, it's gonna be interesting also because uh, we're gonna play at home. Well, the expectation is that we win the Super League, uh, the Danish Cup, and that we reach the group stage of the Champions Cup, that is the, the Champions League. But not sure if we can actually achieve this. Long term goal of this game and of this this series is make FC Core not only uh, a contender in sort of Scandinavian terms but also in Europe too so we can actually win an European league like Europa League or like reach quarter final, semi final of Champions League and and be the well talking on Champions League there are gonna be the draw of the third stage that we're placed in and we're gonna play against the Nipro from Ukraine. Very tough game. The only consolation that we might have is that if we lose this tie we're gonna play in Europa League playoffs. Just before I go into the game, if my English sounds bad to anyone, it's mainly because uh, it's not my native language. Uh, I'm from Brazil. And yeah, let's go that straight forward to the game. The formation that Absico usually plays is the 4 4 2. I usually like that formation, so for me, there is no problem. 
I usually like to pick the players myself. So Stefan Anderson, Stone Hoagley. I usually like Antelson and Nilsson, the Swedish pair, for the center back. Harder than Matija Zanka Jorgensen, but we actually use much like a mix of them during the game. But for this W one, I will start with the Swedish duo. Augustinsson as left back. Amarenkoa. Um, Holsen. Telane. Uh, complicated, but I think Nikolai Jorgensen. And Steve de Rieder And Cornelius. In the uh, their attack, I wait for the assistant coach to sign the reserves. Let's give jersey numbers to those other guys. And yeah, the prediction of the match shows that we're actually favorites, which is good. But let's see how that goes into the game. Um, I usually ask my assistant coach to do a lot of stuff like pre-match talk, pre-match opposition instructions, uh, more into the management approach, but yeah, let's go straight forward, that's it, start the game, and the Talia Park and the Derby of Copenhagen, spooky, Demonate, that's a good strike. Oh, now we have Jorgensen. Runs into the midfield. Shot from long distance, but good save by Folksgaard. Bromby already has a guy injured. We do not have so much of a decent team, but the therapists are always intense, even in the game. Nice ball, Amaranko Adorida. Oh, that was close. You can't miss shots like this in a derby match. I want to see how our, our defense deal with the Bromby attack. Well, that was fine. Tony K for us. Cornelius! Oh! The Silver just got the ball out. Oh, youngest in is injured. Oh, no. I've got Baskin to his place. Usually when it's ordering you could still play some part of the match, but I don't wanna risk his important guy for our team. We're gonna need him during this season which is too long. Well the game is Kind of stuck. None of the teams have really scoring opportunities. Christian Fosen. Cornelius didn't get the ball. There is former Liverpool central defender Nick Daniel Agar. Antonson. Plus back to Anderson. Come on, Cornelius. Runs in front of the defense. Strikes! And another goal came for Brown B.
uh, we we would usually like to win every single match because we have a squad that is better than any other tennis team. So there's I usually don't do half time substitutions, spe especially like if we had already done one, but Christian Pulsic looks too tired, so I will actually put Brandon Olsen in. Like I said, I was going to use him into the season, so now he's going to get a baptism of fire, putting him into the derby match. The bracket is actually full, also in the game, so nothing is happening. Pookie got a yellow card. And the game got a little bit stuck even more than in the first half. Now Delaney also has a yellow car. Let's see if we can score. Delaney, Olsen, Zahida, Amanankwa. Folks God makes the save. Augustinson. Ah. There's a counter attack for Bromby. Oh no. Three against two. Puki. Oh, what a save by Anderson. You gotta be safe when you get a goalkeeper like this. The defense is struggling a little bit. The supporter seems enthusiastic in every game, so that might be not a sign that things are going well. Well, Pronto also makes a nice pass, and Cornelio loses again. Not going well in 1 1 situations. So let's make a final substitution. The guys are not match fit. Cornelio is just very tired. I don't have a specific guy for a striker, but I fell fell another youngster. If I say if I'm saying his name wrong and you're Danish, please correct me in the comments. That way I will pre appreciate. My Swedish and my Danish sucks. That's why. Also, I might say a lot of names wrong, but I'm doing my best. Okay, so Delaney. Not good. Transition ball. Another counter attack for Front B. Pookie. Shots from distance. Easy for Anderson. Covered by the defense. Losing too many second balls. Which is not good. But the game's about to end. Let's see if we can get something. Antonson. Nielsen. Yeah. We got a tie. It's not what we expected. It's too decent. For the first game, and the first game was a dub match. But that's it for now, guys. Well, as you can see, Nikolai Jorgensen, as I expected, is gonna be out for four weeks. And one more guy that will be treated by our physios. Some guy make our their debut by FC Cole. Yeah. Morten Olsen was watching that game. Usually every Danish should watch that derby. But yeah. Leave your comments below. Hit the like if you like it. Tell me something you, you think I should know about the Superliga. Or something that you think I'm doing wrong that I should correct. And I will try to upload a new video every other day. If not every day. So be aware. And in the next episode. Uh, probably advanced so we get play already against the Nipro.
Petrovsky from Ukraine in the Champions League. That's it for now, guys.